I often get asked this question. Hey, Anthony, how do you know your silver coins are real silver? It's a good question, right? I, I, would, I used to wonder that myself. Uh, so I'm, I get silver from a repu reputable uh, company that, that gets the silver from mint, and then you know I, I get it from them. But what I want to show you is one of the ways you can check to see if you have if your silver is real, and it's just one of the ways. There are many different ways to check it, uh, but this is a very simple way, an at-home kind of way. Um, it's with a magnet. Here's my magnet. Now, silver is not magnetic, right? So, this is the magnet. It's a small little magnet. It's a can of tomatoes, right? Watch, watch what happens. Okay, see that? It's a real magnet. Do it again over here just for see it's on hanging out on the side. It's a real magnet. All right. So that's a magnet. So today I went to the bank to make a deposit. While I was there, so you know what? Let me go into my uh lock box there and get two coins. So I can do this video. And here are the two coins. Okay, I got them encapsulated. So if the theory is, well, it's not theory. It's, the fact is that silver is not magnetic. All right, so I'm going to open up this coin. My, that thing is allowing allow me to do it. And here it is, it's the awakening. All right. That's, that's pretty cool considering what today's date is, November 9th. All right. So here's the coin. Here's the magnet. Well, it's thick. Now, if this is not silver... This magnet should stick. Look at that. Falls right off. All right. So, one of the experiments is confirming that this at least does not have any metal in there. That it's, you know, silver is not magnetic. So, let's just say silver is not magnetic. Also, another element that's not magnetic is aluminum, right? Oh, maybe this is, maybe this is an aluminum coin. Yeah, it could be. It could be aluminum, but if it's aluminum, you'd be able to bend it, right? All right, but anyway, that's that's the point. So that's one of my coins. Let me put this back. All right. That's one coin. Here's my other coin. And this one, rather, what's, what, what's the saying? Ab, uh, apropos? Apropos? It's 250th wedding, uh, 250 wedding, the 250th anniversary of the Boston P Tea Party. Ooh, spooky. All right, speaking of spooky, you can see behind me that we're still in the Halloween uh, mode here. All right, here it is. Again, if this is not silver, this magnet should stick to this. Does it stick? Voila, it does not. So, these two coins... I know I don't have any metal in it because if I had metal, it would, the magnet would stick. So that's just one way you can do a quick check. And again, it's not the only way. I mean, I've seen and I've read and I've researched. You can do something with uh, with an ice cube, put the ice cube on uh, on the coin. If, that, if it reacts a certain way, you know, um, then you can, you know, it's another, another, another way of telling if it's silver or not. Another thing is with something with a lighter, which I wouldn't do. Um, you know, there's a couple of bunch of uh, things you can test, you know, just like in any kind of science experiment, one test doesn't say it's a good, it's, you know, it's hundred percent. So, but you know, you do a bunch of them. So reputable firm magnet doesn't stick. I'm going to say it's, I'm pretty confident that this is real silver. So anyway, that's, that's what I wanted to show today. Something quick, something easy. And I hope you got some value out of that. So, um, if you want to go check your silver get a little magnet and at least you'll know there's no metal in it right to start so uh with that enjoy the rest of the day and uh i'll see you next my in my next video if you like what you saw if you got some value out of it subscribe to my channel give me a like i'd really appreciate it and uh like i said enjoy the day adios